Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock to Your Studio and today I'm sharing with you my altered shipping tag for the Tag It Tuesday Facebook group challenge for May of 2018. This group you can go over there and ask to join and there's a tag challenge and an ATC challenge every month. So to start off with, the first uh, prompt was flowers and I have a bunch of tags that I have just bits of jelly printing on that I made as I was going along um, doing that gel printing challenge in March I think it was and I just I have a ton of these shipping tags I actually have a box that originally had a thousand in it <laughs> so um, I was just using them to make interesting patterns and to pick up extra paint on the gel plate as I was going along so this one happens to have foam stamps on the gel plate which was one of the prompts in March and it was flowers so I picked it uh, the red flowery background and then I'm kind of just altering the background a little bit with some of my new Dina Wakely acrylic paint and um, the colors are cheddar lemon and blushing and then I did a little bit of mark making with the back of a a paintbrush just kind of scribbling in the wet paint the next prompt happened to be use a stencil so I got out this uh, crafters workshop stencil I think it's called well-rounded and I will put the links to all the materials that I used in the description box below and you can go purchase anything that you would like to purchase <clears throat> so that's two of the prompts the third prompt is splatters so I just went ahead and made some splatters at least I'm going to in a second <laughs> I had to find my fan brush that was the problem fan brushes are really nice for making splatters they make nice um, uh, small you know kind of even splatters if you use a regular brush you can get more variation in the size of the splatters but it just kind of depends on the project since this was a small tag I decided to use small splatters on it and um, I did some black and some white both on the background and then I gave it a good dry and then the final prompt is to use buttons so I got out some of these buttons from years ago from Stampin' Up! don't know if they still sell buttons or not but at the time they were coordinated in their color families and I have a ton of them just sitting around and then I had this um, used baby wipe you know when you're using baby wipes in your art to clean up your hands or clean up stuff um, you know clean up any messes or whatever or um, blotting you sometimes get really pretty ones that have leftover paint in all that kinds of nice colors and I decided to use it to make some um, paper pieced flowers on my tag so that I could put the buttons as the centers of the flowers still sticking with the flower theme I think she was thinking probably April showers May flowers you know May is a good month to do flowers so I'm just making a general flower shape using these cut pieces of the baby wipe and some Liquitex fluid matte medium to attach them they're uh, how would you describe it squishy um, it's a little bit different way to collage than a normal paper because the this paper is is absorbent and soft um, of course it's going to depend on what type of baby wipe you had but this particular brand is is cushiony and squishy and so the colors really went well with what I was doing and that's the reason that I picked it um, if I have a baby wipe that's that I think is attractive and not just a bunch of ugly mushed together colors you know sometimes that happens a lot of times that happens especially if you use it more than once you, you'll get basically just a bunch of brown nastiness on it but if I have one that's pretty I will just kind of spread it out and let it dry and then I have a plastic um, shoebox type bin full of them and I hardly ever use them so this was a good opportunity to do that you never you never want to waste anything I and mean, just keep it all <laughs> of course at some point it gets a little bit too hoardish and you have to do have to get rid of some of it but um, I just thought this was a good use for some of this pretty extra paint on a baby wipe 
so once I had it all stuck down with my uh, matte medium, then I went ahead and glued on my buttons with some tacky glue. I know that I did. There we go. <laughs> and the one flower on the left is supposed to be kind of turned away rather than forward facing just to give it give the composition a little bit more fluidity and um, interest. And I thought about making that one a green button because what you would see would be the bottom part of the flower if it was turned that way. But then I I decided that one green button on there wasn't right. And um, yeah, it just didn't look right. So I took it off. And once this is all dry, I trimmed all the extra petals off the edges. And I got out my new Dina Wakely scribble sticks and decided to draw on some leaves and stems onto my flowers because otherwise they're just floating and flowers don't just like randomly float in the air so needed something to ground them and it was nice to add a little bit of contrasting color to the composition because it was all the oranges and reds and yellows and so having the, the little bit of green on there gives it more interest so I added a few stems, a few leaves in this uh, bright green color, which um, I'm, I'm guessing it's something like lime or something like that. I, I didn't look at the colors. So then I thought I needed uh, something to make the flowers come up from the background. And first I, I was really looking for a red crayon um, or scribble stick, and there wasn't one in this set. There are two sets. Um, and this is the first one that came out and there's another set of colors and I don't know what's in that set but this one does not have a red so then I decided to just go ahead and go with black because there are black splatters in the background and I figured that it would be okay to bring in black so I'm using the black scribble stick to kind of loosely go around the petals and um, along the stem and leaves just to show that the flowers are in the foreground and the rest of the color is in the background. Plus, I kind of like lines around things. It's just, it's just my thing. <laughs> I just like it. But I am blending it with a water tank brush. This scribble stick is very water reactive and does blend. And the interesting thing that happened is that even though I put the matte medium on the baby wipe it's still absorbent and it in some cases is absorbing some of that black color into the petals which was different and surprising I thought I thought since I put all that uh, matte medium on there that it would all be sealed but it was not and then I took the white scribble stick and just kind of gave a highlight in the centers of each petal to make them look more dimensional it kind of makes them look like they're curved if they have that the dark on the edge and the light in the center and yeah that petal right there wasn't stuck down I don't know why <laughs> had to glue it back on so then my final thing I, I added some more splatters with my uh, white Posca pen just some bigger white splatters and then I still thought after drying it that it needed something else so I decided to add, go ahead and add the green buttons but to add one on each flower and because now I've brought that green into the background, I thought I could put one on the edge of that and make it like the little um, bulb before the flower on the one, the one on the edge. So I think that turned out pretty cute. And the layered buttons, they look cute on the other flowers. So also you have the, the contrast between the round button and the square button. So then, of course, I like a backing on my tags, and so I went ahead and cut a piece of black cardstock to layer onto the background. I didn't really want to flip it over and press it down because I had still had those wet buttons on the top, so I kind of just pressed it from the top. And then I just need some fibers, and that'll pretty much finish up this tag. The fibers that I'm going to use are from, those two are from uh, Canvas Corp brands. They're almost, they're like burlap, kind of. I think they're made out of the same stuff that their burlap is made out of. And then some of this black thread from uh, Stampin' Up to finish it off. 
those particular jute twine or rope or whatever it is um, from Canvas Corp is perfect, the perfect colors. <laughs> Then of course I needed to add in a little bit of black. So I end up wrapping the thread around and around and around um, to secure those other fibers on there and making kind of a, a band of black at the base of the fibers and then um, unraveling them to make them look more fluffy. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment or a question. You can go over and join Tag It Tuesday if you like these type of, of prompt challenges. And of course you can share this or pin it or put it on Facebook or whatever you want. All those things help out my, cha my channel a lot by helping other people find me. So I think that that is pretty much up uh, all I have to say. <laughs> That's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.